Good morning. Um, I'm trying to weld up my carry-all um, little pieces, I guess you'd call it. Um, as it turns out, with the way my mowers are set up, the Echo, this is a 3020, a converted to split shaft, fits, oops, sorry about the camera work, fits real nicely there, it just tends to find a home where this angle here keeps it located that direction, but yet this side of the motor keeps it from going any further, and then it just has a gravity resting area there. So generally all I have to do then is to weld up a pin. On, I'll show you on the other, I've got to cut this one down. I just welded it on and what happens then is uh, the blower can slip on there. And as you see, it's tucked between the guard and that. Um, this is a little heavier steel than what I use, usually use. Um, but I'll cut that down. It don't need to stick up that high. I try to make things such that if I hit something, it'll bend the pin or whatever, but I couldn't find any more of my pin material. So I use that heavier thing and I think I'm going to regret it. That's the normal stuff. It, and if you hit, if that blower got snagged on a tree branch or something, then it, the pin would give way and the blower would fall off. Uh, so that's the bad thing about not being organized. Um, then see this mower's down. It's needing a new push rod and gaskets and I'm waiting on parts. Uh, so then I got to replicate these two uh, things and those are for holding my, uh, oh, where did they go? There, there's one. Well, they're for holding the attachments for the, the items. So I'm gonna try to find the, uh, see, so that with that post that I'll weld on there, that'll locate this edger, and then I need another one for the string trimmer. And then that gets me by until that engine, uh, until the parts come in. But I never really intended to use this more for any day-to-day -day mowing it's still too heavy it's got you know the lead acid battery it's got almost full weight still got the front forks at full mass and the only lightning that's been done on this machine was the drilling and swaging of the foot pan and then but that what savings there is there was minimal and uh on weight and then that was taken back for by putting the the two inch receiver hitch. So I guess you probably see what I'm going for here is that keep one machine heavy for all around utility use. You know, you want to put a hitch in that receiver. Like one of the things I have for it is a tray and my uh, unicycle type uh, pressure washer rolls right up in the tray and then it clicks in place. And then uh, there's a pipe that fits into this receiver that has a tall stand, uh, tall thing on it and that holds all of my hoses for the pressure washer. So, you know, if you, for me, one of the machines, uh, I don't, I would like to keep it, you know, full mass because mass does work well when you're doing all around type work. I just don't like to have a lot of weight when I'm doing uh, regular routine mowing. Um, the 60, it's, it's good to go right now, and I could use it, but there's some local guys that like their lawn mowed really short, and I'd rather put this 72 on it because uh, this deck's already compromised, and when I sh cut the sh lawn short, then there's too much chance of, um, you know, ruining your deck by catching something with the rear baffle, and I'd prefer not to mow short, but that's just the way it is, so... All right, I'm gonna get uh, some material and get this welded up.
That'll work. Now we gotta work on the <clears throat> pipes to hold the attachment. Uh, let's see on this one, we stick up about one hand high. They seem to work good, so I'll just emulate that. So one hand above that, that'd be about right there at the top of my fingers. Hang on a second, let me get a cut. Okay, I got a tack on there, but uh, I'm having a little trouble with my auto darkening helmet. So let me uh, grab some more welding rods and see if I can get this helmet adjusted. And we'll weld in the next piece, which is the other one. And I gotta finish welding this in, so. Okay, I got the two pipes welded in there, and this is where my string trimmer attachment's gonna go. And then this one for the edger attachment. Okay, so now I got the everything on board so I can go do that yard that I don't want to take my main mower on. Uh, so I'll have everything with me. Okay, and then uh, this is the other mower, but as an example, once you have the uh, attachment capability of the carrying on the mower, then when you're doing the lawn, it lets you have strategy on where you park it to start, you know, you're no longer tethered to the truck. So if you got a set of five lawns, you do the lawn, you park it where it's most advantageous to start your trimming line, and then it saves a lot of time and effort that way.